I'm Liz from 10 to 8. In this video, we'll set up your customer communications and preview what your customers see when you book with them. By default, every time you book an appointment, the customer will be notified unless you switch it off in your general service settings, which we'll go over later, or for that individual appointment here by toggling the on switch to off. You can always resend messages or check message history by going into an existing appointment, clicking view, and see details. This is also where you can resend the message if you want to. You can preview the email which is sent to customers to confirm the appointment from our support site at 1028.com forward slash support. Here's an example. You can see there's important information here to fill in such as your business name, address and phone number and logo. To do this, you'll want to go to 1028, click on settings and you'll land on the organisation settings page. Now let's go to service preferences to choose what actions customers can do. For example, changing the appointment date or time or cancelling it altogether. Click preferences and edit to choose what actions customers can do. For example, allow customers to book their own appointments, change the appointment time or cancel it altogether. You can also set a minimum notice period for when customers can book, change or cancel appointments. The default is set to one day. Turning off these settings will not allow our customers to change or cancel appointments. When you're happy with your settings, click save. I've just changed the settings for my initial consultation service, but if I click the grey settings button here, you'll see I can change the settings across all of my services. Simply click edit, change the settings and hit save when you're happy. Setting your message reminders and notifications is important for cutting no-shows and keeping customers happy. Under messages, you can choose when and how to send appointment reminders. You can see here we have an email set up four days before the appointment. Click edit and let's set up a new one. Click add before. We'll click one hour before and I'll choose text only for this one. Click save and you can see now we have two notifications, an email four days before and a text one day before. If you've allowed customers to change or cancel their appointments, you can also adjust these settings or simply toggle the switch from on to off. Thanks for listening and if you have any questions, email us at help at 1028.com.